what's up everybody so today we're back working on the Silverado once again now last video you guys saw we got the HD grill on we got a vinyl wrapped and we got the LED bow tie put on there and all that looks really really good but I want to add on some more lighting because as you guys know with the headlights there's a little light bar in, in the headlight there we got the bow tie like I said the lights up but the grill there there is just that blank section that I want to fill in with a light bar and thankfully there is a company that does make a light bar solution for that it's called Sparksmith so let's go ahead and show you guys what we got and then go through the installation process so here are the bars that I'm talking about these are the LED light bars from Sparksmith these are the 22 inch light bars. These are actually the 2.0 ones. They had the 1.0 ones, but they just released the 2.0s. So we get to test these out, try them and see how they look, operate, function, work, how easy the installation is. Overall, looks like it should be a pretty easy install, but we'll find out in today's video. Um, as you guys can see here, they do look pretty good um, as far as quality goes. It's got the 3M double-sided tape for uh, installation purposes. You got the wiring set up here. It's just pretty basic. The red for power, black for ground, and yellow for like your signals as far as the turn signals go. And with that, you can see on the inside there, the yellow LEDs are for the white section, so the light bar itself. And then the orange is for the turn signal. Now, I probably won't go installing the turn signal section of this because I just want to have the light bar itself. So. We've got the two 20 inches, so they'll go on each side of the bow tie there, which I can show you guys that once we go to install it. But then we also picked up this full installation kit here. So it comes with all new, or a complete wiring harness, connectors, screws, and a fuse in there for our setup, as well as these brackets here. Now these will go in between the grill section there to uh, mount these two. So there'll be a couple of screws that get mounted in there. And then of course, like I said, the 3M double-sided tape. So now that you guys got to see it, let's go ahead, pop the old grill off now and uh, get these mounted up and then go and test them out. So we went ahead, we got the grill off now. We'll go ahead put on our mounting bracket. In order to do the mounting brackets, we need to pop the bow tie off because it'll slide in through here. And then there's actually a little gap on the back side of the grill here that this will slide into and have a room for a screw to be placed. And then this section here on the spark corner will actually get bent a little bit to kind of contour to the grill itself. And that'll be able to mount there. And then our light bars will be able to be 3 m stuck on there with a couple screws as well to mount the uh, light bars on there. That way they don't fall off or go anywhere in case this, the tape wouldn't stick. But overall, looks to be a pretty easy process. So let's go pop the bow tie off, get these mounted, get the light bars on, and get it all wired in. Okay, so in my case, for installing this bar here, it looks like it's going to be a little bit different since this is a uh, 11 to 13 style grill. So it's got the X pattern instead of the straight up pattern. So on these ones, the hole is here. So if I were to run this to that hole, you can see we're kind of short on length a little bit. And I'd also be blocking off the emblem here. So I'm actually going to drill a small hole here. That way we can mount it on there as well. And then this end will get bent down to go down straight in there. It'll kind of contour to that shape there. And then we can run a screw from the back side of there to mount that in its location and have it hold up. So you guys can pretty much see. If you were to run it through here, it'd pretty much be like that. And then we just kind of bend it right there. So as you guys saw, we got the holes drilled. I went ahead, got my bar bent. I had to go just a little bit further than what my mark was just because once I bent it initially, it was a little too uh, too long. So we went just a, about a quarter of an inch there and uh, got it in shape here. So now we should be able to just slide this in here. And as you guys can see there, it'll fit in there just like so. So now I can go and put my self-tapping screw in there, and then there's a little point on the back side there. We'll put a self-tapping screw on that side too. But now we have a place for our light bar to mount. And just to make sure that our bow tie still fits over top of that, go ahead and give that a test as well. And yes, it will clear that, so that is fine. So you guys can see pretty much how far it slid in. The screw is kind of popping out over there, so that is mounted on there. And then as far as this goes, you can see it lines up there. So we'll send that little self-tapping screw between there and hold that in place. I'll probably have to cut down just a little bit of this aluminum bracket here, because as you see, it sticks out quite a ways. So we'll go and cut that down, and uh, that should be all we need. Okay, I actually decided to go on the inside there, bend that back, so now it's all out of the way and good. Um, actually had a better location for securing it there. So now we should be able to flip this over 
Then, as you can see there, our aluminum bar is there, and it's pretty sturdy, so we can go ahead, throw our light bar on there, but I'll go ahead and do the other side first before we get that far, so let's go ahead and mount that up. So, you guys see there, we got both of our aluminum bars in place, so I'm going to clean these up with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and then take some adhesion promoter that I have for 3M tape, and just kind of swipe it on there, that way the bars, we make sure that they stick, and we'll get those screwed in and mounted where they need to go, and then we should be able to wire it up. And then this here is a little adhesion promoter for the 3M. So I'm just going to tear that open and just wipe it on the bar itself. Also for the light bars, when we go to install these, we've got to make sure that the wiring goes towards the emblem over here. That way the sequential effect is the same on both ends. Otherwise it'll be going one direction rather than just kind of going towards each other. So it won't look right. So we've got to make sure, like I said, wiring goes here towards the emblem. Um, I may drill out just a little pilot hole there for this wiring to go through. That way I don't have to like tuck it up and just have it so it's like pushing up a little bit. That way we have it laying flat. So let's go and pop a little hole in there and then go and get these mounted. Okay, so we went ahead, got those screwed in. I had to grab my own screws. The screws that they include with it are like these little guys here. And I kept snapping them. Even if you drill like a little pilot hole and stuff, these little screws here break. So I definitely recommend getting some different hardware. So we're gonna go ahead and use these. Probably just take a little Sharpie just to kind of color them black because otherwise they stand out too much. But uh, yeah, overall, it looks good. So now we got this side done, we'll go ahead and throw the other side on and then get this wired up. Now that we got those hard mounted with the screws and the three and double side tape, these are good to go. We can go ahead and move on to the wiring portion of it. So as you can see here on the back side, we've got those two wires that come together here in the middle. So we got the two reds that go together and the two blacks that go together. Now if you want to run turn signals, you'll just wire these up to the yellows here. So this side for the uh, passenger side and this side for the driver's side, you just tap into your turn signal um, so that those blink when the turn signals go on. But for me, I'm not gonna run those right now. I just wanna do the lights itself. So we just got the black and black and the red and red. We'll go ahead, add our little connectors to the end here, extend our wiring harness, and then the black will go to a chassis ground. And then for the red, it'll go to this fusible plug here, and that'll go into our fuses. So let's go ahead, wire this all up, get it plugged in, all this installed, and actually see what it looks like. A few moments later. So we went ahead, got that heat shrunk down so that they are secure, waterproof, and tight. So now everything is secure in this location. I'll throw a little like electrical tape or something over top of this just to keep that from touching anything. It doesn't necessarily matter. But we've got our two power and ground connected. So let's go ahead, test it, and see how it looks before we actually throw it on the car. Obviously we have way too much wire here, but we'll cut it down to our length. And uh, when it comes to the wiring section, we have this little terminal here. This little ring terminal here, which will go to our uh, ground so we can just do it a chassis ground and then like I said the red for power will just go to the fuse box and uh, be a power source for that so let's go ahead check it out oh yeah that's pretty sweet so you guys see there I just hooked up to a little 12 volt battery here just to kind of test it out so you can see the animation starts up fills it in that'll look really good especially with the bow tie and the other lighting that we have on there so Let's go ahead, wire this in, get it all mounted, and get it done. Okay, so I should have this all completed now. You guys can see here, everything is in place where it should be. I still gotta bolt down the uh, grill and put the top cover over, but we're gonna show you guys this stuff here. So, hopefully, I don't know how well you guys can see it or not, but you can see the wiring that runs there. I got it tucked up on the grill between the middle section there. Uh, right there you guys can see that it runs up back behind here and goes right there beside the headlight it's a second wire hanging down there and then it comes up through here so you can see the two blue connectors there those are just like a little quick connector that way if I ever need to disconnect the grill I don't have to disconnect it from the fuse box or anything so just unplug those two but coming over here to the other side now you can see there we've got the ground wire connected there to the chassis ground it's just on that bolt there 
follow the red wire up and it continues over into the fuse box here so as you can see there we got our fuse tap installed and in place it's currently plugged into the daytime running lights uh, so it has that 15 amp fuse in the bottom so that's for the daytime running lights and then the 10 amp fuse that is connected there on top that is for the sparksmith light bars so now that we have all that connected we can go ahead and test out the lights so we're going to hit the unlock button here and it all should light up oh yeah that is sweet Hopefully the light goes off here, but you guys can see we have that light bar inside the headlight there. Goes all the way across to the emblem. Sick. Yep, that is awesome. Now that we know that everything works, we can go ahead, button everything up, put it back together, and then get this thing out to actually see what it looks like. Because uh, doing it in the carport here, yeah, it looks awesome, but we need to get this thing outside. The truck looks awesome now with the LED light bars from Sparksmith. They are super bright, the animation is really cool, and of course the insulation, all that stuff goes, was very easy. The only issue I had was some of the bolts or some of the little screws and stuff would break on me. I had the little pilot holes drilled out for them and they'd still kind of snap. But other than that, it is an awesome product and looks fantastic. And it's definitely the look that I was going for when I was initially building my truck to have the lighting setup that I have it. So we've got the daytime running lights and the headlights going into the Sparksmith light bars and the LED bow tie tying it all in together. So we have that continuous bar across the front end. And I think it looks awesome. You guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But overall, I'm super happy with the way it looks. And of course, if you guys are interested in getting this kit for yourself or any other Sparksmith product, I'll be sure to link it down in the description below. And you guys can use code abnormal to get yourself a nice little discount. So with that being said, I think we'll go ahead and end up the video here. So if you guys like this video, make sure to big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.